In this video, we'll show the final assembly of the Mini Tome Mixer, including mounting the lawnmower blades. By way of review, the Tome Mixer was invented by Mike McCain and is typically towed behind a pickup truck. The wheels going around in the mixer turn the lawnmower blades, which makes it basically a giant food processor. You can find various plans for these on the internet, but basically it's not rocket science. I contacted with a professional demolition derby group to weld up my basic frame, as mentioned in a previous video, where I showed how to cut out the decking and the barrel and mount it to the frame for a watertight fit, which basically gave me a 42 inch diameter, 120 gallon tank sitting on top of the frame. Now all I needed was to attach the blades. Mike McCain's original tow mixer didn't even have blades. It just used a piece of fence post because the object is to pulp the paper or shred it. It's not really to chop it up. And Martin Adams sharpened his blades, but essentially he stuck with the two blade design. As did Mike and Molly. And Mikey Skylar, as near as I could tell. So that's what I went looking for. A single blade whose holes would line up nicely with the bolts that were already in the Crown Vic. But after looking through 20 different options at the hardware store, the best fit was actually this. A 21 inch micro cut twin blade set. Which only required a minimal amount of filing with a hand file to fit perfectly on the bolts that were already there. And that would have probably worked just dandy. But I had another blade and I had another set of holes. So after a couple of unsuccessful attempts at creating a spacer out of three quarter inch PVC pipe, I decided to cut the fitting in half. And that worked perfectly. And the mini tow mixer was now equipped with 21 inch micro cut twin blades. Which meant that with the 73 to two gear ratio for the Crown Victoria, every time the wheels went around once, the shaft the blades were mounted to went around 24 times which meant that if I towed it down to the end of the block, where I threw in five gallon bucket full of dirt, turned around and came back, traveling just over a quarter mile, those blades had smashed through that paper more than 20,000 times. And that made one of the most beautiful paper pulp mixes I've ever seen. Stop at the house long enough to throw in a bag of cement, go on down the road about the same distance to the vacant field and turn around and come back, which made the most amazing paper creep mix with a consistency somewhere between Cool Whip and Frosting. And filled 12 8 inch by 8 inch by 16 inch gang molds almost perfectly. Which was in comparison to using my old system of pulping the paper with a hand mixer just ridiculously way better. The math goes something like this. The old mixer held about a yard and a half or approximately 13 gallons. And I could whip up two slightly larger bricks every 45 minutes. But the tow mixer made near perfect batches of paper creep at five and a half yards with yields five times larger in only 35 minutes. And that made the next two videos worth all the effort. Mike McCain, inventor of Fibrous Adobe. Martin Adams at makepapercrete.com. Mike from mikeandmollyshouse.com. Mikey Skylar of Let's Make Papercrete fame. And of course, the SBS Demolition Derby crew, who welded up the frame for this amazing mini tow mixer. <laughs>